So this is the Ducati Dharma I bought, just been out for this first test run after tree build. Bought this from a guy in Bury St Edmunds called John in a box, about 20 boxes of bits. Um, finally got it on the road. Um, I'll say it's been out for this first test drive. Upgrade the wheels, got rid of the old speed lines because as we know, because that magnesium alloy they're made of, they tend to crack a bit. Um, and I've put these Oscan wheels on it, um, they look quite reasonable. So have I found any faults with it? Well, not really, no, only one, which is the um, Taco Drive. Um, this seems to be fitted with the 2 to 1 Taco Drive, but because I've got the uh, Nip and Denso gauges, they need a 3.25 to 1 Taco Drive, so I'm going to find one of those because at the moment the Taco is reading over. Other than that, it's running quite well, really. Um, I have to do a little bit of work on the carburettors, it's just um, chugging a bit at uh, low revs. Um, but other than that, very smooth, just been on the motorway, nice steady 60 miles an hour, no problems at all. Even the brakes feel quite good on it. So what did it sound like when you started up? Well let's have a go and see. So as I say, you need to set the carbs up a little bit, get the tick over improved. Um, do the 400 miles that I plan to run it in for, um, and then give it an oil change. This engine did come in a lot of bits, and I have to say, anybody who's going to rebuild one of these bikes, be aware. The prices for these uh, Ducati Bevel Square Case parts are horrendous. Um, set of rings for two cylinders, like 160 quid. Um, big, big end mains are just horrendous prices. Uh, luckily enough, this only required a set of rings, so didn't break the bank. Well, I think the gasket set was about 160 quid or something stupid like that as well. Um, other than that, though, it's been quite an enjoyable build. But it is quite a complex build. Setting the crankshaft up, a bit of a nightmare, really, because the crankshaft on these has zero float, so by the time you've split them apart, um, say so split in the middle, and you've rebuilt them a couple of times, it can be a bit of a fiddly job because they've got a gasket as well, which I used two gaskets. The first gasket I broke when I had to take them apart to reshim the uh, crankshaft. <laughs> anyway, job was done. Um, other than that, it's a nice easy starter. Um, and I'd say, nice bike and I'd highly recommend them really. Um, for a classic, it rides quite like a modern bike. So I hope you enjoyed the video.